For this lesson, we're going to take a look at dividing radicals. So, to begin with, we can put all these in our calculator. If I have root 20 divided by root 10, is that the same as 2? No, that's false. If I have root 15 divided by root 5, does that equal root 3? That is true. Is root 7 divided by root 2 the same as the square root of 7 divided by 2, all in the radical? That is true. Is 2 root 6 divided by 3 root 3 the same as 4 root 2? This is true. Is 10 root 18 divided by negative 5 root 3 the same as negative 2 root 6? That is true. Is the cube root of 14 divided by the square root of 7 equal to the square root of 2? That is false. Is the cube root of 14 divided by the square root of 7 the same as the cube root of 2? This is also false. Is the cube root of 14 divided by the cube root of 7 equal to the cube root of 2? This is true. So, based on what we see for the ones that actually work, and we can very prominently see it here and here, what are the requirements? Well, it's very similar to multiplying. Radicals with the same index can be divided. Divide the coefficients. and divide the radicands. So when dividing the radicals, we're going to divide the numerical coefficients, we're going to divide the radicands, and then if possible at the end, we're going to simplify. So, for example, 1, if we're dividing where possible, well, root 70 divided by root 7 is going to be the same as root 10. If I have 15 root 18 divided by 5 and the square root of 2, 15 divided by 5 is going to be 3, and 18 divided by 3 is going to give me root 6. If I have 20 root 40, over negative 4 root 5, well 20 divided by negative 4 is going to be negative 5, and root 40 divided by root 5 is going to give me the square root of 8. Well, square root of 8 I can simplify. Square root of 8 is going to be the same as 2 and the square root of 2, or when I multiply that by that negative 5, negative 10 root 2. If I'm doing variables, well, if I divide variables and they're on the numerator and the denominator, then they're going to cancel out. The square root of xy divided by the square root of x, well, there's a common factor of x on the top and the bottom, which means this becomes just the square root of y. And for the last one, if I have 10 divided by 20, then that's the same as 1 half if I simplify the fraction. 24 divided by 2 is going to be the same as the square root of 12. The square root of 12 can get simplified into 2 root 3. And the 1 half multiplied by the 2 root 3 is just going to leave me with the square root of 3. If I'm going to simplify the numerator and the denominator and then divide, well, for this first one, I'm going to say that 4 and then the square root of 54, I can simplify to 3 root 6. I can use my factoring tree or whichever method you prefer for that. 
On the bottom I have 3, and the square root of 8 is the same as 2 root 2. Which means that when I multiply this out, I actually have 12 root 6s over 6 root 2s. And I can just divide 12 by 6, which is going to be 2, and 6 by 2, which is going to give me root 3. I can do the same thing for the next one. I'm going to say that I have 8, and I'm going to simplify the square root of 126. Well, the square root of 126 is going to be the same as 3 and the square root of 14. 112 is going to be the same as 4 and the square root of 7. Which means that this is going to be equivalent to 8 times 3 is 24 root 14 over 4 root 7. And I can just divide the 24 by 4 and get 6 and the 14 by 7 and get root 2. And there's my simplified form. If I have multiple terms, the first thing that we need to know is that this is the same as the square root of 20 over the square root of 5 plus the square root of 40 over the square root of 5 minus the square root of 90 over the square root of 5. I need to divide the denominator from all three of the terms in the numerator. This is going to be the same as the square root of 4 plus the square root of 8 minus the square root of 18. I can simplify all these. The square root of 4 is going to be 2. The square root of 8 is 2 root 2. And the square root of 18 is 3 root 2. And now I see that I have two like terms that can be combined. So I'm going to say that this is the same as 2 and then 2 minus 3 is going to just be minus root 2 or minus 1 root 2.